Alright guys, welcome to your 13th HTML5 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be finishing styling our awesome website. So what I want to do is just a couple quick things, this is probably going to be a quick tutorial and the very first thing I want to do is I want to style these articles. So I want to give each of these articles their own border and background and padding. So in order to do that I need to go ahead and style this crap right here. So what I'm going to be doing is take note of this. I'm not going to be styling the overall section because whenever we start, yeah, right there, kind of got lost there. Whenever we styled the main section, that was pretty much to lay out the entire overall, I don't know, this entire overall section right here. However, I want to style each individual article. So in order to do that, if we look at our HTML file, we have these individual article tags so that's where we're going to be styling so let's go ahead in our CSS go ahead and just type article and now we can apply the properties to each individual article for example we can give each one a background color and let me give it like a nice peach color guys so that should be something light and also let me give it a border. Let's see what border would we go to that? A red border, maybe. So border equals one pixel solid red. Not nerd. Red. That's a little bit better. And I also want to give a padding because I want some space between the text and the border. So I'm going to give it an overall padding of 20 pixels. Now, another thing is this padding, it isn't going to affect the spacing and mess up the overall flow of our layout. So that's another reason that I like the style within the article itself. It's only going to affect the padding of the content itself. And another thing I want to do is I want to change the margin on the bottom. So margin and just like border top you can do margin bottom margin bottom you can also do margin top left right by the way you probably would have guessed that and let me just give it like 15 pixels or something and this is pretty much going to separate it from the other article underneath it so now if I go ahead and refresh this and refresh it I can see that each of my articles now has a nice peach background a red border and that margin 15 this is what that is right here pretty much gives it some spacing between each article and if we were to put another one under this then there would be a margin as well so the only other thing I want to adjust is this my little signature written by Bucky Roberts usually whenever you're writing an article this appears on the right hand side and underneath it a little bit so I just want to go ahead and text align our little signature to the right now if we say written by Bucky Roberts, let's go ahead and hop over into our HTML. And our written by Bucky Roberts is actually part of the footer. Not only the footer, but it's part of the article's footer. As you can see, the footer is a child of article. So this is what I'm going to do. And this is one of the cool things about having a footer inside the article. So instead of a footer like this, don't do that because I think in this case we have a footer outside so if we were to try to align that to the right it's gonna to try to align this so what we want to do is we want to say okay we want to work with the footers but only the footers in the articles so if you go ahead and hit article footer that's gonna only apply the style to the footers in the articles so let me just go ahead and text align right and hopefully if I didn't mess anything up and go to my website bam check it out this footer is still center aligned however the article footers are now on the right so that is the effect that I wanted and pretty much our website is laid out awesomely now and again I want to mention this before you guys think that I'm just a terrible web designer because I am but in the case that these colors are really awfully you know they don't flow at all whenever you're making a website then you typically want all the colors to be similar not the same but you know kind of in the same I don't know kinda of like I don't know what word I'm going for you know kinda of like similar color scheme that's what I'm looking for the same color scheme so the reason that I had this yellow and dark blue and peach was just so you guys could see but um, typically when you're making a website make sure it's in the same color scheme and not this random crap right here so anyways in the next tutorial I'm gonna be showing you the brand new flexible model 
or excuse me, I think it's called the flexible box model technique. So this technique is called the traditional box model. It's pretty much how I laid out all my websites in the past because it's a really easy and simple way to get a nice layout. However, HTML5 and CSS3 came up with this new thing called flexible box model and they're actually still incorporating it into browsers right now so we need to add some little tricks before we you know we start working with it but I'm gonna be talking about all that in the next tutorial so uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time